Welcome to DocuSnap, the software for professional IT documentation. In this tutorial, I will show you how to analyze permissions to directory resources with DocuSnap. The Permission Analysis module allows you to analyze effective directory permissions for users or groups. Inheritance mechanisms and group structures are visualized in diagrams. And what's more, you can even generate reports in order to evaluate the data. Before you can do this, however, you must have successfully created an inventory of your Windows systems and of the Active Directory. Also, the NTFS permissions of the corresponding systems must have been scanned. To launch the inventory wizard for NTFS permissions, to launch the inventory wizard for NTFS permissions, click the NTFS permissions button, which is located on the inventory ribbon. First, you need to select one of the existing companies. Next, you are prompted to enter your credentials for logging on to the desired domain. After successful login, you can proceed to the next step. Here, you select the drives of the systems that have already been scanned. DocuSnap will then perform the inventory process for the NTFS permissions. The application will store the NTFS directory permissions in the DocuSnap database. Finally, a report page displays and you can see whether the NTFS permissions have been scanned successfully. To analyze the permissions you just scanned, let's navigate to the Permission Analysis module. For this analysis, you need to change to the tree view and open the desired share or directory. The Permission Analysis tab now displays information on the current permission structure. This table includes information on share permissions as well as explicit and inherited permissions. The columns indicate whether a permission was granted or denied. You can also see what kind of permission it refers to and how it was inherited. When preparing your analysis, you can select any number of users or groups. For each selection, the current effective permissions that apply to the selected directory are shown. To get an overview of which users have permissions to a certain directory, select the Resource Directory report. You can run this report for a directory or for one or more subdirectories. After selecting the desired options, you can let DocuSnap create the report. You can, for example, hand over the results to the responsible manager for further checks. To find out which directories a certain user has permissions to, select the Resource User Report. In the tree view, DocuSnap indicates by color coding whether the permissions are inherited or have been set explicitly. To get a quick overview of how a specific permission for a user is composed, you can use the analysis feature. A click on the analysis button displays the permission structure. An effective permission consists of several parts such as NTFS and share permissions, explicit permissions and inherited permissions. The permission structure reveals how a user or group obtained a certain permission. By selecting individual permissions on the left, you can filter the structure for each specific permission. This concludes my short introduction to the NTFS permissions inventory and analysis process with DocuSnap. To obtain more helpful information, just watch the other interesting tutorials.